What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revisto. So last video, we have learned how to export our Revit model to Revisto, right? And as you can see, currently I'm on the website of Revisto so that from here you'll be able to get more information about the software, okay? Just go to revisto.com. Anyway, uh, let me just, and also this is where I work. PM consultants so just a quick advertisement so if you want to see some of the projects that we are working on you can check this out and you can also see the services that we are offering here but anyway let me just close that one let me open Revisto 5 because we already exported our model to our Revisto 5 uh, software okay the model that we have exported last time is now already here. As you can see, it's saved locally. Okay. And you will also notice here I have a couple of projects. So this is the project that I'm working on right now. You don't know anything about this project. But these two projects is already saved in the cloud. I'm going to show you also how to save your project to the cloud so that you'll be able to do the clash detection. Okay. So right now, I'm going to open here the local model, our exercise model, okay? So I'm going to show you in this exercise how to use the viewpoints and map tools in Revisto, okay? And currently, I don't have any issues in this project right now. That's why it's uh, saying this information. By default, you will be going to issue tracker the first time you open your model. So if there are some clashes or issues assigned to you or issues in the project, you'll be able to see it here in this side as well. Okay, so let's go to the 3D view. And let's just wait. And this is now our 3D model. So before you start, so maybe you can go to the preferences so you can set your settings here. You can check the general. You can check out the navigation. I prefer Revit navigation mode. You can also specify the settings of your mouse and keyboard. You can specify the display units, the graphic settings, camera settings, your 3D model, uh, issue tracker, and cache management, as well as the switchback. Okay, but let me just close this one. I already did that. Okay, so here on my 3D tab, we can now see our model. So just like your Navisworks or Revit, before you orbit your model, so best practice, you can you need to uh, just click one element so that it will serve as the reference point when you orbit your model. Okay, so that you can view your model like that. You can also orbit your model without selecting elements, but that's my preference. I select first an element so that that will gonna be the uh, the pivot point or the preference uh, point when I orbit my model, so that it's not going in different places when I orbit it. Anyway, to orbit your model, just like in Revit or uh, Navis Works, just uh, hold your Shift key and then hold the middle button of your mouse and then move your mouse to orbit your model. Okay, now, so let's go to our topic, the map tool and viewpoints tool. The map tool and viewpoints tool can be found here. This is the viewpoints, control W, that's the shortcut. The other one is map, okay, shortcut is M. So I'm gonna open the map here. Let me click that. And then let me just pan my drawing by clicking and hold, uh, holding your left click zoom out zoom in zoom out is just the uh, middle mo uh, middle button of your mouse just scroll that up and down okay to pan just hold the left click and move your mouse and then you see this um, icon here that is the current viewpoint okay that is the 3d view that we have a while ago so if I close my uh, map here it will show you our default 3d view okay so this is this one so if you want to change that so 
you just uh, double click to one area of your model here but anyway before we go there let me just explain some few things here if this is the first time that you open your map and you don't have a settings or you didn't set up your level so there is a uh, information that will pop up to your uh, right window here regarding your levels so you need to set up the level which is not difficult you just uh, specify the settings that you want for your level let me just quickly select this one to show you what I mean so if you're going to set up your project levels so you can see here you, you just need to select here the model where you want to uh, reference your level and then you will be able to see here the levels on your project and then you can specify here when tagging an issue class clash you can just select from here which is i prefer this one so after that you just select okay and then that's it you are now set on your map so let me just cancel this one since i'm already set up so here if you click you'll be able to see the level one the level two level three and then the roof level so let's say i go to the level one i want to change my current view my current 3d which is uh, this one right so let me go to the map so let's say i want my current 3d uh, to level one i want that to be placed here somewhere near this stair here so i'm gonna double click here and there you go and then let me just zoom out a bit and then I'm gonna click maybe this stair to orbit my ball the model to see what's inside so I can also pan my drawing pretty much just like the camera on your Navis works and Revit so you can orbit from here now let's say for example you want to save this view okay you want to save this view so you can now use your viewpoint so I'm just going to escape so let's say I want to save this view that's the time you can now use your viewpoint just click that there's a the project so I want to save this so I'm gonna select here viewpoint new viewpoint click that and there you go so you now have this uh, viewpoint okay so if I go to my uh, map you will now see my current 3d view is now there located so if I close this map so this is now my current view okay so let me just go back to my map so let's say I want to go to second level okay I want to go to this area here so again I'm gonna double click here double click and then there you go so let me just click this or maybe I'm gonna click this one this duct or what's this equipment oh yeah so that's an equipment so I'm gonna orbit from there let me pan my drawing okay let me click another object here this one zoom out orbit all right there you go so let's say again I want to save this view let me just escape so I'm gonna click this again click that there you go so you can also create a folder here if you want a new folder and then let me just change this just double click if you want to change the name just double click that and let's say for example you can type uh, interior or whatever name that you like and then you can drag your viewpoint one which is this one and then your viewpoint two inside this folder hopefully that's how it works there you go so it's now inside the interior so pretty much the same as your navis works and then there's also here a uh, lock appearance i prefer that one on and then you can click the more icon here so that you can see here if you can delete the viewpoint or folder or you can create the viewpoint per level okay right so let me just go back again to my map here so let's say i go to the third floor and i want to go here just double click there you go again i can click one object here to orbit then i can pan my drawing there you go and escape so i'm gonna save this viewpoint there you go 
and I'm gonna drag that to my interior folder and there you go okay so again if you want to rename just double click so that's let's say this is level one interior and then you have your the uh, level two interior oops level two interior and then this one is my level three interior level three interior enter okay right so basically that's how you use your uh, map tool and then your viewpoints okay so that's it for this exercise so next video we are going to explore more tools to navigate your revisto so thank you for watching guys have a nice day